Gang's all here. By the way, what about the North Grove? Rather Will that shit ever have any effect on anything? Not here, isn't it? And your banner men look a little tense. What are you playing at, Forrester? Something's not right. I can feel it. You're paranoid, Lord. <laughs> it's just your imagination. I know what I see. Don't play games with me, Forrester. See, that's the trouble with you, Foresters. No manners. At least Roderick had enough decency to carry a proper conversation. Maybe I should have kept him alive after all. Sit down, Forrester. Father, please. Perhaps we should have more wine. I've had enough fucking wine. I didn't do it. They did. They us. I didn't do it. They did. The warriors did. I didn't do it. I wanted to see what would happen. All right. Nice spinning slash. Haha. <laughs> what an idiot. Hey, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, it still. Wait a minute. I pressed the wrong button. It still worked. 90% of the inputs have no effect, seriously. You don't need to do any of this. Get him! Guys! Nice. Axe to the back! Why would you let him do that? Forest of scum! Kill this idiot. Finally, we're gonna kill this fucker. Please let us let this guy fucking die. You know Squash Buckler? Whoop. Fire. I'm gonna say force him into the fire. There you go. Well, he's fucked now. Run him through. Nice. Say goodnight, son. Twist the blade. Twist the blade. We're out of words, Griff. <laughs> that must be a first. Good. She stabbed him. Wayne. It could have been so different. But you destroyed everything. No, it didn't. Goodbye, Asha. You're a dumb bitch. She's a dumb bitch. Like, it's my fault. It's your own family's a piece of shit. <laughs> So much for them. So now Griff's dead, but the father got away, which sucks. Really sucks, because now, of course, he's going to run to his reinforcements. It's a trap! They're trying to kill us! Kill them all! Kill the fucking foresters! <laughs> Take down the gate! We can't fight that many! Doomed. Once I had the whole lock the if doors. If we breach the gate, we're done for. We can't fight the entire White Hill Army. Oh, now's when the, the Northern Army's gonna show up, which makes no sense. There's no way they could possibly show up this fast. My lord, your wound. Get them to safety. Of course. But I won't abandon you, not again. Please, mother. Oh boy, this is it, the final showdown. The time has come. Asha! Our Lord is here! Oh, the Lord! She's here! Nice! The pit fighters are owning. Oh well, who needs the peons? As long as the Lord survives. My Lord! <laughs> your command! Save as many people as you can! Get them to safety! Death to the White House! Be nice to the small folk. This is the war you promised, Mr. Rossi! It's not over yet! To Asha! Here we go! Clan versus clan! Oh! Oh. 
we go. Oh, he fights with spear. Fuck you. Fuck that shit. Snap from the back from the guy whose ass I whooped. Nice. Oh shit, I didn't look. The double, dude, I missed both inputs, yet we still got him anyway. I told you the button inputs have no effect on the game. Uh-oh. Shields! Shields! Nice! Fuck the arrows! The cowards have us pinned! Oh shit! That's right! Kick that shit! Good idea, Westerosi! Let's give those fuckers a welcome to remember! Yes! Let's give them an explosive welcome! Uh, oh, it didn't blow up. I thought the, the whole car was going to blow up. Uh, get his ass. Remember, without their leader, they're nothing. Who the fuck is this guy? Where's this guy been hiding the whole time? Asher oh, it's him. Forrester. You've come a long way to die. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. I'm the master of missing the quick time and still surviving. Fuck you. Inputs, who needs proper time inputs? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> nice! What the hell was that? Shit stuck on the screen. Oh no. Let's see you live up to your reputation. A duel! Yeah. A duel, alright. Have at you! Aha! Aha! Rally to your love! This isn't fair. Your sword's bigger than mine. Oh, that pit fighter's dead. Get him now. The cheap hit. That's right. The El Cheapo hit. I don't know why you went for his face instead of his fucking side, but okay. Instead of killing me, he's trying to burn my face. This is a bad strategy. He should have just stabbed me. Let go of my son! What the hell? No, I knew he was gonna do that. Super depressing! Now! Oh my god, are you serious? Now! While he's doing that, he's open! His face! Fuck him! I'll take it back. Oh! Open one. I missed. Oh well, it worked anyway. I told you I don't need to hit the quick times. I think he might be dead. Fuck, you're dead too. There's no way he's gonna survive this. So the mother's dead. Asher's dead. All the fifth fighters are dead. Blood's still alive. We lose. My son. Damn. It's a happy time in the Game of Thrones. La 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 la. Where the hell did Lud go? <laughs> All for nothing. All for nothing. Well, I missed and I still got hit. <laughs> Look at this guy. They're all stabbing him like crazy. Yes, the one guy who's left. And oh, I knew it. <laughs> Damn, he dodged so late. And he got hit by an arrow too. Oh my god, it's so excessive. Oh, she's finally dead. Arrow to the face. Where's his friend? Where'd she go? The girl. Oh yeah, he's perfectly fine. Even though he had an axe in his fucking back, he's fine. Yeah, right. Where's the girl? 
Breshka or whatever her name is. She never sh fucking showed up. I am from ice. What the fuck? You saved his ass. We have to get you out of here. I'll be damned if I let another lord die on my watch. Save yourself. Must him. survive, Asher. For the house. For all of us. So let me guess. Go! It's gonna end on a cliffhanger, Go! right? Because he's now gonna be a refugee, but he's gonna meet up with the people from the Northern Grove, and they're gonna it's gonna be a cliffhanger where they're gonna come back to take back the castle or whatever. And it's gonna end it. You're not gonna know what happens. I'm calling it right now. Even the writer got hit. Are you fucking kidding me? Cliffhanger season two. I'm calling it. Cliffhanger ending. Am I right? No resolution. Am I right or am I right? Because that seems like a cliffhanger ending to me if I've ever seen one. Seriously. Damn, that nightshade tore his ass open, didn't it? <laughs> oh well. She's a little pissed because he promised her she was gonna do the nightshade. Oh well. What oh, you well. did was right. Damn straight. I did what I had to do. I'll let you light the pyre. Nope, I refuse. Even more depression. Your arrival has changed everything. Even though we've been preparing for it all our lives. Now we don't have much time. We were sent here for a reason. To protect the North Grove. Winter is coming. And we have a role to play in the war to come. Our father never would have wanted us to stand by and see how Forrester fall. Not while we can still do something about it. It's too late to reach Iron Wrath. It may already be lost. That's what I said all along. You we wouldn't know, have time. protecting the North Grove is the right thing to do. Those were Gregor's last words. They sent you. You should decide. Fuck it. House Forrester needs our help. So we'll gather our forces and march south. May the gods guide us and protect us. It's just a bunch of fancy lights and shit here. Who cares? the black magic or the blood magic works everywhere then it doesn't fucking matter I told you here's what's gonna happen they're gonna prepare they're gonna start their march south they're gonna tease season two right the two parties the two halves are gonna meet up Mira's gonna be the hostage so she'll still be alive for season two and they're gonna say season two coming soon watch I guarantee this shit there's, there's no way they're gonna wrap this up in 15 minutes there's no way it's over wow And of course now she hates him So she'll probably betray him See, this is what they're building all these new plot lines They're building new plot lines Because they're going to make a sequel Well, not really a sequel, it's season two And so no one was there to make sure that the magical flame pixie shit burned properly and the grove extinguished. The end. That's the real ending. How?
House Forrester. They were nothing but Stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? Yeah. Father wanted to make sure they bend the knee. And what do I find? A child lord. Ethan wow. the Wise. Only 9.8% called him Ethan the Wise. With bulldog sentinel at his <laughs> side. As if I'd be a friend. And I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. Wow, they get to recap all the fucked up stuff Mira that happened. was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. That day Cersei dragged her before the throne, Grandmother, I was actually worried for her. But she didn't have any trouble swearing loyalty to Joffrey right in front of me. Uh. And then after that whole business with Tyrion, I thought she knew how to stay loyal when it mattered. But then there was that day when she pushed me to ask Joffrey for help, when he ripped my dress. It was bold, I'll give her that. But I can't forgive that she used me. And now, with all that's happened, the gods know what Mira was doing behind my back. That's right. Grandmother, it makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. I saw Everyone's something fucked. of myself in Garrett Tottenham. <laughs> I thought I could trust in him, Sam. But I was wrong. That's right. He gave me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the Godswood. Yet before a day was out, a brother was dead atop the wall. I needed his sword at Craster's. I defended him to Frostfinger. And it cost me. Whatever happened up there, a man of the watch doesn't run away. <laughs> so everything's you wrong. return then. But another Lord Forrester. Every choice you made was wrong. Rodrick. Yes! He was quite the bold one, Rick. Chabbing out that fourthborn's eye. He killed the man who betrayed him. And ruining Griff's little humiliation by climbing out of the mud again and again and again. I was rather starting to like him. A shame he didn't last longer. The savior who couldn't save anyone. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, Miss Sandai. Too bad he's, they're all dead. He <laughs> was cocky, surely, but he wasn't uncharming. Uh, Asher what needed the hell? my help. The line of dialogue didn't I happen. needed to know if he deserved it, so I tested him. But I was disappointed. He seemed a man who cared of nothing more than the moment. Where did this girl go? She but vanished and didn't show up. His yeah, uncle Breshka. told the truth. Breshka never showed up. That Asher had been protecting his friend, a former slave. Can we get an explanation of where gave Breshka up is? All he came here for to protect her secret. He earned my respect in the end. If not my help. Loyalty. Friendship. Respect. Without them, we have nothing. I think, in the end, Mira came to understand that, Grandmother. She could so easily have turned on Sarah to protect herself. But instead, what she did it took grace. If you're fierce enough, you leave King's Landing with your honor intact. Mira has proven that. But at what cost? That's right. Send him to his death. I could have told you this story wasn't going to have a happy ending. Roderick dead? His mother dead? His little pile of timber in ruins. I just wish I'd been there to see it. That Bolton bastard let their upstart houses go to war, Father. I'm not unfamiliar with these foresters. Stubborn to the end. They fought hard, I'll give them that. But they were reckless. They're all fought. Shrewd when they should have been bold. Impetuous to the last. When will these northerners ever learn? The Starks are dead. The war is over. And they lost. Yes. Wow. So terrible. And is that it? That's it. I'm stuck on a screen. Okay, there it goes. Amazing. And that's it. That's the whole season, right? Will they give us a preview of season two? Oh, there's a little epilogue here.
Let's see, they run- what else can happen that's terrible? They run into a group of cannibals who are starving because they couldn't find anyone for weeks. And they, they devour him on the spot, just rip his body parts apart. Oh, that was great! What else? Come on, something worse. Oh, here he is. Here's the cannibal. He's got his fork and knife ready. Oh. We don't have much time. Yes. What the fuck? She was riding with the kid all along? So she did escape with him. He's okay, but still. No help whatsoever in the fight. So here you go, here's your Ice Dragon choices. You and 68%, 68.7% told Marjorie the truth and were dismissed. 23.2% agreed to marry Morgan. 52% butchered Cotter for the blood magic. 46% ambushed Lord Whitehill. 54% abandoned the North Grove to march to Ironrath. And that's it. That's it. That's really it. Fuck that. No thank you. No thank you. So anyway, apparently, and I'm not even joking, I knew this ahead of time because someone told me, They've announced Season 2 of Game of Thrones will be coming out because this game sold well. Uh, I'm going to be honest with everyone because you guys know that I'm an honest person. Fuck that shit. Seriously, I'll tell you right now. Fuck that shit. Because if you've played any of Telltale's other episodic games, all of them up to this point, so I'm talking... I didn't play Jurassic Park, but Back to the Future, The Walking Dead Seasons 1 and 2, all right, uh... What was the one with, uh, oh god, The Wolf Among Us, right, and Tales from the Borderlands. Every single game, episodic game that Telltale has put out that I've played so far had a definitive ending. They said, we understand that you paid for a season, we're going to give you a definitive story ending. Now, let's say, let's be honest here, some of them got sequels. For example, The Walking Dead got a sequel. And what it did is it took that definitive ending from the first season of Walking Dead and it continued it. It didn't leave you on an insanely depressing, you know, fucked up, not even ending. That wasn't even a fucking ending to anything. There was no resolution whatsoever. That was probably, and I'm not kidding, one of the worst fucking endings I've ever seen. It's a sad excuse for an ending to a game and I can tell you exactly what happened. Here's what happened. They were making this game over the course of the year. They knew it was going to be six episodes, right? As they were continuing on with the game, they wanted to see how the sales were. Because they knew that if the sales were good, they were going to continue on with the story. So, by halfway through the year, they probably had seen, holy shit, these sales were really good. Well, what we're going to do then, we're going to fucking do a cliffhanger bullshit ending with super depression stuff. Because we, we know what will happen. People who were invested in this story, people who played Game of Thrones for a year, are going to feel so invested. <laughs> in the story and in these characters that they're gonna want to see a resolution. So let's give them no fucking resolution whatsoever at the end of the first season, right? Let's have people die so you're fucking pissed. Let's have people be uh, forced fucking marriage, right? You know, cliffhanger endings. No resolution whatsoever. And let's end it like that so you have to buy season two if you actually want to see the continuation and the resolution. Bullshit. This is not the actual Game of Thrones fucking television show. This is a video game. A video game should have an ending. If you bought one season, you're entitled to an ending just like anyone else who buys any other fucking game. This was a cop-out. This was terrible writing. This was one of the worst fucking ways they could have ended this game because now after playing six episodes, I'm actually pissed off. I'm disappointed, I'm upset, and I'm pissed. That for a year, I invested myself in this game to get no resolution at all tonight. This is terrible. This is hack writing and hack, not, I would say game design, but it has nothing to do with the game design. The game design worked fine. It's the writing of this game was fucking garbage. And whoever wrote the ending should be ashamed of themselves because it's a cash grab. Because they know because there's no ending, you're going to buy season two, right? So it's bullshit. And I'm very angry, and I'm going to be honest with everyone, at this point, I'm very turned off. And I really don't know if I want to play Season 2. Because I don't think there should have been a resolution for Season 1, and I don't think they deserve more money from me. 
for me to go and reinvest myself for another fucking year so that they could just have a really horrendous, depressing, fucked up ending that's not an ending and pull it onto a season three. You know, it's bullshit. <clears throat> and it's funny because what they're trying to do is copy George R.R. R. Martin. Because this is exactly what he did with his books. With the Game of Thrones books, there's never a happy ending. There's never a pleasant resolution. There's always just continues and continues and continues. And there's depression and a horrible thing happens here and horrible thing happens here. But you keep reading because you're hooked. You're like, there has to be a light at the end of the tunnel. There's got to be a pot of gold at the end of the fucking rainbow. At the end of this journey, when it finally ends, there's got to be some kind of a reasonable resolution so that people can feel like there's justice in the world or whatever. That's what we look for when we read fantasy. We're looking to escape from the real world. The real world is depressing. In the real world, things are, are there aren't always happy endings. In fact, a lot of the times there isn't a happy ending and things are fucked up. We want to escape that to actually get to something that has some kind of a reasonable ending. And Game of Thrones, the books in particular, don't give you that. They just keep you dragging on and on and on on purpose to hook the reader. This game took a fucking note from that, but I disagree. A book, you might expect if it's a long series, it's going to continue. You're watching the Game of Thrones television show, you know that there's more story to come. When I bought the game, I fucking expected the season to end. This is garbage. And this, unfortunately, I hate to say it, I think is going to be a symptom of the episodic game. Because now what's happening, because the game wasn't completed, they didn't have to write an ending until they saw how the game sold. And once they finally saw that the game sold well, oh, well now we'll decide we'll do an open-ended ending so everyone will buy Season 2. That's fucking bullshit. Overall, I did enjoy this game, but this is the biggest money grab cop out i've seen of anything telltale's ever put out by far and it's disrespectful to the gamer it's disrespectful to anyone who invested a fucking year six episodes of a year of time you waited to get a fucking ending and you didn't get one fuck that shit fuck the writers of this game that is fucking disrespectful i feel really upset right now and that is my actual feeling on the subject there you have it and that is it for Game of Thrones, Season 1, I don't even know at this point. It sucks to end on a sour note, right? But look with how they ended it. They did it on purpose. Because they want the money, right? It's not about making a creative work that's entertaining and enjoyable. It's not about giving you resolution or making the customer happy. It's about hooking them to make my money. And that's all they care about with this fucking game. And that's sad. <clears throat> it really is sad. Because every other Telltale game I played didn't do that. And this one did it, and it's fucking pathetic that that's the route that they went, in my opinion. So, anyway, I digress. I will personally thank everyone who joined me for this game over the course of the year. Whether you joined me live on stream, whether you watched it on demand on YouTube, how, no matter how it went, I want to thank you very much for joining me over the course of this year for this depressing fucking game. And I'm sorry that they didn't give us a, a satisfactory resolution. I'm curious to what you feel about the situation. Obviously, leave your, your opinion in the comments of this video on YouTube when it is on demand. If you're live on stream, obviously you can't. Maybe tweet me at they call me DSP or send me an email. Uh, but, you know, leave your, your in the comments of this video. Let me know what you think about this ending. What's your feeling? I'm curious because you know mine. I want to hear yours, all right? That's it, everyone. Thank you for watching. You might or might not see me play Season 2, but it is what it is. At least I hope you enjoyed the ride for what it was this year. Thanks, everyone. Peace out. See you later.